intrigued by change. I study economic and social change. I'm, I'm very interested in how technology is changing how we produce things, how we communicate, how we live our personal lives. You know, we are confronted by huge challenges with climate change. And what gives me hope is that um, we, are, we are creative beings <laughs> and we are developing solutions. So I am hopeful that uh, we can align efforts, you know, smart business people, smart technologists, smart uh, climate scientists, and, and, and smart consumers and, and policymakers um, to create a new reality, to uh, drive our transition to a new energy paradigm. Well, I am a stubborn optimist. <laughs> However, I do have some concerns. I think there, there are some wonderful opportunities with technology in, order, in uh, creating greater resilience and uh, resilience and, and transparency in our lives. Um, you know, we're generating so much more information about everything going on around us. I, I'd like to see that information in, on open platforms so that uh, people have access to that. They can track this stuff and, and they can engage. and, and um, and drive positive change. My fear is that we'll be generating more and more information and it will become uh, increasingly closed um, so that only a few will have access to these uh, growing resources. Um, too often we get caught up in our day-to-day -day stress. You know, you've got to get this done by this time and then this and then this. Um, it's, I think it's really helpful to take a moment and, and step back and think, okay, 10 years from now, what are the possibilities for, you know, this topic? I think I think that's really helpful, and uh, you know, I'm very grateful to our science fiction writers yes. <laughs> for helping to, uh, you, you know, produce that disruptive material um, that you know that, that really stimulates, I think, a certain part of the brain that that we don't get stimulated in our normal day-to-day, -day, um, uh, you know, routines. Be thinking in disruptive and creative ways, and I think that's, you know, it's easily said. Um, what, what I really enjoy doing is spending time with people and ideas that, um, you know, are, are on the, at the first point uncomfortable. <laughs> I, I, I think it's very healthy to put yourself in a situation where your frame of reference is is a bit shaken. Seeking out those kinds of experience, I think, I think that is, uh, I think it's very healthy to keep us thinking outside of the box, to keep us um, nimble, um, uh, you know, uh, conceptually about what is possible. You know, I grew up coming home from school in the afternoon and watching Star Trek. <laughs> it's a warm place in my heart for um, for the, the original Star Trek series, for sure.